Basically, like once you trigger the system, kind of runs for a defined period of time, and then it takes time to essentially like reset, for lack of a better term. It's also been referred to as the muscle full effect. Uh, but so I looked at that and said, why am I eating every two hours then? You know, and there was even a study uh, out of Wolf's lab, like back in 99, I think, where they infused amino, essential amino acids for six hours. Protein synthesis went up, peaked at 60 minutes, came back down at 120 and never went back up again. Maybe I'm being naive, but I would have thought that if protein synthesis goes up and then comes back down, that eating more often would be exactly the thing you would want to do if your goal was to get increased protein synthesis because you'd be pinging the system periodically. But the, but the problem is the plasma amino acids are still elevated. So it's essentially like eating the whole way through right. from the perspective of leucine. From the cells, Got yeah. It. So that was one of those things where I said, you know what, I'm actually going to eat less often because like if I'm eating and three hours later, I've still got, you know, capped out plasma amino acids, you know, and we looked at all kinds of stuff. Like we looked at intracellular leucine just to make sure that, you know, that wasn't falling off. It wasn't. We looked at all the plasma essential amino acids because you know, we were thinking, well, maybe protein synthesis is, you know, sucking some of these amino acids out of the plasma and they're dropping and that's causing it to kind of short circuit the system. That wasn't.